As a kid, I was made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. Hey, good morning. It's Sunday, November 7th, 2021, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. As you can see, I got myself a fresh cup of coffee ready to go this morning, and my pal Bugsy is hanging out here with me as well. I hope your Sunday is going well for you. Hey, if you forgot to change your clock, no big deal. You'll just be there a little early and the coffee pot will be on. We'll be waiting for you. Let's read this morning from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all humanity. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The word, word that John uses and actually capitalizes in our passage today tells us three important things. The word is eternal. The word is is a distinct personality who is God's companion. And third, the word is God himself. Later on in John 1, we discover that this word also became flesh and dwelt among us, the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. That's John 1.14, and it tells us definitively that the word is Jesus himself. However, that seems like a strange way to introduce Jesus with the word, word, logos, in the original Greek language. Why would Jesus be described this way? Now, there are many ways to answer this question, but one of the most straightforward is this. Jesus is the most perfect representation of who God is, what he cares about, who he cares about, what he wants to do in this world. Jesus fulfills all of that, and Jesus is the fulfillment of God's word. So if we want to know what God is like, and if we want to know who he is, we go to the Gospels and we look to Jesus. Everything he said and did was exactly what God the Father wanted him to say and do. His compassion, his brilliance, his backbone, his miracles, his heartache, everything. Everything perfectly communicated the heart and personality of God. Through Jesus, we could know exactly who God is. That's why he said, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. That's John 14, 9. So when we look at Jesus, we see the clearest picture of who God is. Jesus himself said, I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment, what to say and what to speak. That's John 12, 49. When we listen to Jesus, we're hearing God's words from the word himself. When we believe in Jesus, we're trusting in God. When we love Jesus, we're loving God. Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And so when we love Jesus, we're loving God. So what is God like? Well, look to Jesus. To look at Jesus is to look at God. To listen to Jesus is to listen to God. To believe in Jesus is to believe in God. To obey Jesus is to obey God. And to love Jesus is to love God. Father, we do thank you for another day that you've given us, for the precious gift of life and the opportunities this day holds, the opportunity to worship you, Lord, as we come before you today. We call out to you in the name of Christ and ask you to bless this Lord's day. Help us, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth so that your name may be praised and you may be lifted up. 
Bless us, Lord. Whether we worship you in person with those that we love and fellowship with or, or worship you electronically, we thank you for the privilege and ask that you would bless it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me, for clicking the start button, and for being part of the last few minutes. I hope it's been a blessing to you. Before I go, I want to remind you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship this morning at 10 a.m. We hope you can join us in person, but if you can't, we invite you to join us electronically and connect with us right here on Facebook as we go live just a few minutes before 10 a.m. For now, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.